What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Disney Plus new series, Muppets Now. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's wrap this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Disney Plus for granting me the screener to this whole new show. Okay, this is actually an improvement from the mockumentary Muppets a few years ago. That one was, well, it wasn't all that bad, but it wasn't Muppets Muppets, you know? It was Muppets copying The Office. That format has been played out. Everybody under the sun was doing the same style. From Modern Family all the way to the recent hashtag Black AF. This Muppets Now, on the other hand, although it's self-proclaimed first unscripted, it does feel like the variety sketch Muppets from the old days that we used to love. And it fits the whole Zoom craze that's going on right now because we're stuck at home. The jokes are fresh, well, up to a certain point. They've got new characters that I had not seen before. The human guest stars are engaging. I really enjoy the first few episodes, but then after that, it kinda gets redundant. Welcome to the Muppet Studios' first unscripted series and first original series for Disney+. In this six-episode season, Scooter rushes to make his delivery deadlines and upload the brand new Muppet series for streaming. They are due now, and he'll need to navigate whatever obstacles, distractions, and complications the rest of the Muppet gang will throw at him. Overflowing with spontaneous lunacy, surprising guest stars, and more frogs, pigs, and bears, and whatever is legally allowed, the Muppets cut loose in Muppets Now. Each episode is packed with hilarious segments hosted by the Muppets showcasing what Muppets do best. Okay, before I get to the part where I tell you why and how the show halfway through becomes redundant, let me tell you the positives, you know, what I really really like about Muppets Now. Well, for one, my favorite characters play a bigger role in this. I'm talking about Beaker, I'm talking about Swedish Chef. I've always liked those gibberish speaking Muppets that other Muppets seem to underestimate make fun of or quickly dismiss, so it's cool to see them at the forefront and get more spotlight on this one. Each episode is divided into a few segments. You have the lifestyle show with Miss Piggy, you have the cooking show, you have the game show hosted by Pepe, and then there's the science experiment show, and Kermit has this dine and chat thing going on that will have you rolling on the floor because he keeps getting interrupted in the most outrageous ways. Now, they say it's unscripted. I'm not sure the extent of that really because some of it does appear to be improvised and on the fly, but I'd like to believe that at the very least, there's a written game plan beforehand or in advance. But it also helps when you feature stars like RuPaul, Danny Trejo, Tay Diggs, Aubrey Plaza, who are quick on their feet at making either snarky or sassy comments in response to the Muppets that they are interacting with. Now, what I mean by this show being redundant, you know that whole lineup that I mentioned to you earlier? Cooking show, game show, science show, lifestyle show, interview show. Well, after a few episodes, you'll notice that that is all that this so-called Muppets Now has. Sure, it's funny the first couple of go-around, but eventually, you're burned out. By the third and fourth episode, that whole thing gets real old real fast. You would stick around hoping that maybe they'd mix things up a little, maybe they'd throw in a curveball or another sketch or something unexpected, but nope. It's that damn lineup again. I still like watching Miss Piggy pulling a temper tantrum or Kermit the Frog on his facepalm mode, but after a while, Muppets now feels like it's stuck 
in its own loop and it becomes mind numbing. And so I doubt the audiences will stay long enough once they don't find the pattern all that fun anymore.